Welcome eAchieve students. The purpose of this screencast is to show you guys how to do a discussion board post for your classes. So as you can see right here I have pulled up a discussion board that I have in my world history class as an example. So to access the discussion board what you need to do is click on the name of that discussion board. Once you are in, you can see right now that no students have posted to this discussion board yet. So what you need to do to add your post is create a thread. So once I click on that button, I am taken to the spot where I'm able to add my message. So I need to give it a subject. So Roman, Roman Empire post, whatever you want to label it, it really doesn't matter. Um, and then this is here where I would type my message. So I would make sure that I read through the assignment directions, I read the prompt, um, that I am answering everything that I'm supposed to in my post. Okay, so I'm supposed to have concrete examples, supporting details and rationale. So I would make sure that my message was very detailed, showed analysis, right? Uh, etc. So once I'm done with my post, I'll just add that this is a test here, um, then I simply can hit submit if I'm ready to go. If I want to come back and work on it a little bit later, I just hit save draft. But if I've done my proofreading, I'm sure it meets the assignment expectations and requirements, I go ahead and hit submit. And then after it loads, now you can see that I am the author. This is the name of the thread. So to read other students' posts, you simply click on the name of the thread. And then it pulls up what they wrote. So that's what I typed for my post. Now part of your grade for discussion board may be a requirement that you reply to classmates. To do that, it's very simple. After you read their post, you simply hit reply. And that brings up a box where you can now type your reply. Again, it's going to be detailed, it's going to be thoughtful, it's going to be specific. Okay, and when you are finished, once again, you can either save it and come back and work on it later if you're not quite ready to turn it in for grading yet, or if you're sure it's ready to go, hit the submit button. And then you can see that there is now a reply right, RE means reply to this initial post. So you would see that continue on as a thread as more students replied. Now you'll notice up here this is called a breadcrumb trail at the top because it was discussion board and then we went to the week six and then we went to this specific thread. So if I want to go back to that discussion board, had other students posted and I wanted to read what they wrote, I could do that here and then I would again just click on the thread name and hit reply. Uh, or I can go back to the discussion board page as a whole by clicking that here or by clicking the discussion board button in the class. So hopefully this helps you understand how to add a thread to a discussion board and complete that assignment. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact your teacher.